What's up guys, we're out at Hidden Falls. Last time I was out here, I was on a Harley Davidson, which isn't a great off-road rig, so I'm really glad to be back in a Jeep. Real quick, I do want to thank RSG for sending me this shirt. It was just really cool of them. They make really good Toyota um, skids and stuff like that. So thank you, <laughs> RSG. Skid. It's almost like skeet. It's Shay. She's going to be driving today, so a lot of you guys who need it's your Shay. Shay. Who else would it be? Need your Shay fix. Um, she's back. We're going to get on our Twix and uh, have a good time today. We're meeting up with... We're obviously in this 2014 JK Rubicon, first Rubicon we've had, Unlimited, and we're meeting up with a JL Unlimited Rubicon, so. Oh, okay, never mind, sorry. So it'll be kind of a cool little mash of uh, Rubicon. Rubicons. That's it. Yeah. That's all we got. There you go. Let's get you wheeling. Let's, let's introduce you to the other rigs. <laughs> <laughs> let's take a moment and introduce you to these fine... American, is it is this still American since it's Fiat? Let's find. I think of that LJ is American. fine. American hardware. There's no one out here today. It's like this place is dead. Everyone's at SWR. We are not. Yeah, we should have went to SWR, Chris. Thanks for the invitation. I just stopped crying. Um, for all you other guys who did invite us to SWR, sorry we didn't make it out there. <laughs> We just, uh, we wanted to do a local run at Hidden Falls um, before we took when we went out to another place um, and build up the Jeep a little bit more. So, all right. All I hear are excuses. So. Let's, let's get on the trails. After a quick introduction, I don't even think we're going to air down today. These damn all terrains. Who ever put all terrains on the rig? Are we not going off the park roads? I don't know. But we're not going to air down. I'm not air down all terrains because I don't want them to get all torn up before I sell them. Then you shouldn't have brought him out here. How to, how to get how to get this on film? The obligatory peanut butter twigs. It's all for the footage. We do it for you. Oh, real quick, check it out, guys. Badged up. This is the new logo. So, did a spin off the old Jeep noob. Added the YouTube and Freedom Crawler. So, if you want one of these, let me know. Super basic. Stock wheeling is so boring to watch. <laughs> yeah, come on. <laughs> come on. So how is it so far wheeling a stock Rubicon? Same as wheeling a stock Sport. The one thing I have noticed that I don't like is since you don't have limited slip, you almost have to use the locker more than you normally would because with a Sport with limited slip, you're just relying on that. So you don't need a locker as much because you have, have your limited, limited slip. slip. Well, no, because it has a locker. Mm -hmm. So that's I what you're really, doing. I really, really enjoy the limited slip. Yeah, it's nice because it just kicks in automatically when you need it. So anyways, a little bit different, no big deal. So fun. Sticking to the theme. Running it before we get real plates on. I think this one too. You still got running the templates too, right? Yeah. It's really hard to get good footage on basic stock rigs, but we're out of Bronco Buster. We're gonna have some fun with this trail.
Oh, this is sketchy. I don't like this. You're gonna come down fast. Roll with it. Yep. Yep. Whew. Slow, slow, slow. You're coming down. Passenger? Don't do that. Damage. Just keep going. You're just on the fender. Ouch. All right, so we just finished Bronco Buster. He just got this, it's got temp tags. That's the way we like to roll, so I appreciate you for that. Yeah. What'd you think about it? What was your last rig? Or what was your uh, last couple rigs? My last rig was a 2015 JK okay. with a 2.5 Max Flex rock crawler lift. Right on. 37s, trail ready bead locks. And you did that right after you bought it off the showroom? Drove it from the dealership <laughs> to my house and did it. And then took off the fenders, ripped it all apart. Ripped everything apart, all the suspension out, uh, put everything on it, and then wheeled it. All right. So Never wheeled a stock Jeep. So how does that compare? Obviously a lot different. It's a Rubicon. Yeah. But what do you think? Man, this thing's impressive. Bronco yeah. Buster is a great articulation trail. It kind of gives you a lot of a lot of flow and everything too. So. It does. No, it was really impressive. Um, I mean, I think it's just as good as a JK on a lift in 37s. Honestly. Oh. Those are those are fighting words. <laughs> it, it really is. I mean, it went everywhere that that thing went without a problem. I'll be honest, you know, I haven't wheeled a stock rig in a, while, a long time either, but to me, the Rubicon, honestly, I mean, I know you get a little bit stronger axle and the lockers will be great when we finally need them, but for the most part, it felt just like a, it felt just like a sport out there. Um, I didn't like that it didn't have a limited slip because no. then you're open and you have to use your locker button, which kind of sucks. I prefer to have a limited slip, 
I don't know if I prefer to have it over a locker, but I like to have it just because it you don't have to ever use anything. But um, overall, I think uh, the Rubicons are, are good, but you know, obviously this is a much better platform because it, it's leaps and bounds above the JK, um, just in its stock form. So that's a great, great buy. But unless you're going to be wheeling and hardcore rock crawling, you really don't need a Rubicon, in my opinion. Um, we'll need this. We'll we'll put it to use. But for I think for the majority of people, no, you don't need a Rubicon. It's Save the money. Extra. 10 grand or whatever yeah. it is, 10, 12 grand. I mean, we'll use ours, but yeah. most people don't need one. Absolutely. And we didn't even air down our tires. Cool that might have helped us for this, though, <laughs> if we were aired down <laughs> just a little there. bit more. <laughs> hey, if you don't damage your rig while you have 10 plates, are you really even an off-roader? I mean, I don't, I don't know what to say about that. But everything else is fine. I mean, we drug a little bit. Yeah. Did an exhaust pipe? Yeah. It's okay. Yeah, I did an exhaust pipe. It's like a, a right of path on uh, on these rigs. See, mine's still even fine, so. Yeah. Cool. All right, cool. so, there you go. Thanks. Awesome, bro. Thanks, Thanks man. Yeah.